Hey guys, Ryan here with Boxguard Security. In this video series, we're going to take a look at our Honeywell Vista 20P programming section by section. Let's take a look. So by this time, we've already gone through the zones 1 through 8, and then the zones 95, 96, and 99 on programming for the Vista 20P. We're going to hop right into showing you how to program an RF zone. Um, and then we'll go over the hardwired zones later. Uh, but <clears throat> one thing that's important to mention is your system needs at least one way to talk wirelessly to your contacts. That's either going to be usually through a 6160 RF keypad which is hardwired from the keypad to the Vista 20 and then wireless from here to the wireless contacts or you can use what's called a 5881 uh, typically the ENH which will allow you more hard uh, more wireless zones um, that you would use over a 6160 RF in case you have a large dwelling a large unit um, and you want to centrally locate it. The distance for these is typically pretty good, um, but in some larger houses where you might have, um, you know, 5,000, 6, 7, 8,000 square feet, uh, you want to try and centrally locate that receiver uh, to reach the furthest one instead of biasing this towards uh, an entry door and then having the in, in, the entire distance for the wireless contact to try and talk back to this. So <clears throat> we're going to hop back to star 56 and then zero for no confirm. And for simplicity, we're going to go to zone nine. One through eight is hardwired. Nine is where your wireless can start. And what we're going to do is we're going to make that an entry exit zone. So like the front door, which is zero one, and then partition one. We're gonna leave this, report code is 10. It automatically knows to look for a wireless zone since it can't be hardwired. So three is an RF transmitter. And then there's a couple of different ways to enter this serial number. The serial number for a wireless transmitter is located on each device, the outside and typically inside. Um, and there's a couple different ways to enter that. <clears throat> so what you just saw was if you open and close the wireless zone while you're in that programming, it will automatically register this serial number which will match this and it will assign the correct loop number. This is the easiest way to properly program this number in there because if you manually enter it and you have a large amount of zones, a common mistake is to mess up on the loop number if you're not exactly sure whether it should be one, two, three, or four. Um, and those are different for different types of contacts, the 5816 will typically be programmed as loop two. Motion detectors, glass breaks, and slimline contacts, loop one. Uh, so there's some variations there. After this is in there, and it's programmed for loop one, since there is no hardwired option for this particular contact, you're gonna skip, we're gonna skip the alpha for now and then we're going to get out of programming. Star 99. And then the default user code is 1234. We'll turn chime on for testing purposes. And then we can verify that this contact was actually properly programmed. After we program the alpha part of this, it would say front door, not just zone nine, which is very important for 
um, properly labeling and organizing your system. At 2 o'clock in the morning, zone 11 isn't going to mean as much as if it says zone 11 rear kitchen door. Um, important note there. So that's how to program a wireless contact in. You can also manually type these numbers in there and manually assign it uh, to a loop number uh, depending on how it's installed. And then next we're going to start at zone 20, the installer code, and go right down through the whole basic programming of the panel.